The Guardian Academy structure. What is the Guardian Academy? Great question. We get it all the time. Here's a quick overview of what you would be getting into if you decide to join the Guardian Academy and how to best utilize the structure. Here's a quick overview. We have our foundations, our core uh, concepts. That is all of the free workshops. That's all the free content. Uh, that's everything that we put out there. We try to put out everything for free, the core content. And I'll explain why that's the case as we go through this structure. We're built a little bit different, but that's kind of the point. And then we have our bronze, our silver, and our gold. Also known as Wolfpack, Wolfpack Leader, and Guardian. Guardian has a new purple medallion. And there are some higher levels that you can reach through contribution. Uh, but for most people, we're just going to focus on um, bronze, silver, gold, and of course, all the free stuff. Okay, so the Guardian structure, what it is, is it's a growth pad for exponential uh, designed for purpose-driven individuals and organizations. Now, everybody has the capacity to be purpose-driven, but the question is always, what is my purpose? You know, not everybody is super clear. And we're going to talk a little bit about how the Guardian Academy is structured in order to help tease that property out. Uh, it's an infrastructure. Okay, so Guardian Academy is an infrastructure to facilitate and support extraordinary. There's a few uh, extraordinary and exponential. There's a few key words there that's going to explain how and why this is built like it's built. The key words are exponential and purpose because those are things that are very difficult to find. You cannot see them. You can't look under your couch cushions and hope to find, you know, some exponential or some purpose. And there, there's a reason for that. It's because they do not live in isolation. It's not something that you can find. Now, this is Dr. Jeff Spencer. He's a very, very good friend of mine. He is a uh, contributor to the Garden Academy. He comes to all our events. He's also one of, if not the top, performance and mindset coaches in the world. Uh, he was a performance and mindset coach for all nine Tour de France victories. Uh, he travels with Bono and U2 when they have really long tours. Uh, he's had Tiger Woods, call him up. Um, anybody can think of Richard Branson. Number one performance guy in the world, uh, in my opinion, but go to his website, check it out, and you'll see uh, he's legitimate. And we have a lot of conversations. We talk every week, and we had a conversation about exponential, and he said, you know, what I have learned and what people don't realize is that if you want to go exponential, you're not going to find it. Uh, it is an emergent property, which means it emerges out of harmony or synergy or other things coming together. You cannot find it. And I'll give you an example. Now, Dr. Jeff Spencer has five pillars in his champion's ladder. Guardi Academy focuses on three pillars. Healthy, wealthy, wise. A foundation of live to learn, give to earn. And you get the Guardian Academy. So exponential. If you want to have exponential progress, you want to quantum leap forward in the quality of your life. The mistake we often make is we're like, okay, over here, I got to get as healthy as possible. Here's my gym life and my nutrition life. And over here, separately, I got to uh, build my business. You know, I got to optimize my business and all the details of my business. I got to work a little bit harder. A few more hours in the gym, a few more hours at the office. And then over here in Wise, that's, I got to acquire wisdom. I got to make good decisions. Uh, you can fit, you know, obviously there's family life and there's all these other things, which we put under wealthy. We consider wealth being whatever makes you happy. And that's the mistake we make is... We act as if these three pillars are separate. Exponential is an emergent property. It's when you get a little bit healthier, a little bit wealthier, and a little bit more wisdom, but then you learn how to create harmony between the three, All right? So it's not balancing your health and your business. It's actually getting them to work together synergistically, and from there, exponential opportunity arises. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. It's an emergent property. You cannot find it. It comes from creating synergies and things coming together where your business life and your gym life and your nutrition life and your personal life and all these things get integrated together. They become harmonious and then exponential opportunities arise. So he was explaining this and uh, I was thinking, you know, that that makes perfect sense intuitively and in my experience like it just makes sense exponential is an emergent property so one of the things that we run into in the garden academy and others is people say where do i find purpose how do i find my purpose what am i waking up for what am i striving for 
I keep setting all these goals and either burning out or reaching them, but then it's like, now what, right? So where do I find purpose? Introduce, or I'm introducing you to Randy Massigan. Now, Randy <clears throat> is also a good friend. He's a partner of ours, and uh, he was a senior advisor to Bill Gates in the 90s. He only works with the top 1% of the top 1%, so you're not going to see him all over the internet and stuff. Brilliant guy. And he has this process. He teaches it in our, our one of our programs, which is frequency, intensity, purpose. And it occurred to me that purpose is also an emergent property. It is not something you can find. You can't research it. Again, you can't look, you know, uh, under the couch and find some purpose. It does not exist in isolation. Purpose is an emergent uh, quality of intensity, which I'll break down in a minute. Okay. So the only way for to tease your purpose out reliably is through intensity. Intensity is an emergent property of frequency. You can't do something with intensity until you've done it enough times to be proficient at it. Okay? So frequency, intensity, purpose, it looks like this. Frequency, do the reps, master the basics over and over and over and over again. Okay? Uh, for this example, I'll use I don't know, a writer or any artist. Okay? They write and they write and they write, or they paint and they paint or they paint, or they make music and they make music and they make music, and they do it over and over and over and over again. Sometimes we underestimate the frequency that the people we look up to have gone through. It's rep after rep after rep after rep. Okay, do the work. Now, when you do the work and you master the basics, what happens is you develop an intensity. And that's not doing it harder. It's the stamp that you put on it. Meaning, eventually that writer develops a style that is very unique to them. Only they could pull it off because they are the only person on the planet that has their unique blend of skills and interests, et cetera, et cetera, their unique disposition. Uh, same with the artist, same with the business owner, same with the brand. Only after you have mastered the basics by doing it so frequently can you start to put your intensity on it, which is the unique, the unique way that you do it. So there's all kinds of uh, writers that break the rules of writing in a way that only they can. And you read their stuff and you're like, wow, you don't have to tell me who wrote this. I already know. Right? Because their style. That's your intensity. Now, intensity is really hard because when you start to break the rules, uh, people don't like it. People will tell you you're doing it wrong, et cetera, et cetera. So frequency is one conversation. This is the conversation most people are having. Intensity is an entirely different conversation. It's about being surrounded by people that understand that you have your own style and they can support that and they can kind of guide you and, and be collaborative and all that stuff. So intensity, through intensity, Okay. purpose emerges when you really lean into who you are and what you do and how you do it and you develop your style uh, a purpose emerges and you start to go oh wow so this is why i'm on the earth it's clear to me now all right so purpose emerges from intensity hopefully that makes sense so you're not going to find your purpose you're not going to wake up super motivated with a purpose uh first you gotta do the reps Got to master the basics. Then you start putting your stamp on it. You start playing your game. You be you. Don't be anybody else. Be you. And once you learn how to be you, purpose emerges. So that leads us to the Guardian Academy structure. First of all, all core content is free. Why? Because content in and of itself does not tease out these emergent properties. It does not create greatness. It just gives you information. Information is mostly free. You got ChatGPT. You got Google. You got a lot of friends. You're probably very smart. You know how to read books, et cetera, et cetera. And so all the core content is free because it's not the content that, again, it's not the content that teases out these emergent properties that is the greatness that is already in you. It's not going to be put in you by anybody else. There's no content anybody can give you is going to put something in you that is not already there. So the tiers inside of the TGA, the level, the, the tier and the level structure is designed to expose people to the things that are the most likely in this process to pull out of them the next thing they need to take the next step, if that makes sense. Now you can see in the learning and intelligence training why it's built the way it is. Uh, learning is being able to modify your behavior. So if you learn a thing, 
or if you if you watch some content but you don't change your behavior at all you haven't learned anything and intelligence is the way we define it is the ability to get what you want so if you in, if you increase your ability to get what you want then you have become more intelligent whether or not that shows up on tests or not because in reality uh, getting what you want is the point of doing stuff right especially if you're clear on your purpose so the structures, the bronze, silver, gold structures are designed to follow this process. Again, it's a little bit different, um, and that is by design. So in the bronze tier, it's frequency. It's here's the information, here's the actions to take, here's the practices, here's the homework, and do it over and over and over and over again. The structure is designed to get people to do it over and over and over again. They have the support, we have workshops, there's a community, and it's, can we get really good at recapturing and reallocating? Can we get really good at defining what we want? Can we get really good at these basic core foundations? The, the content is free, but the infrastructure to support the frequency, that's what the bronze is really about. Again, workshops, worksheets, uh, we do events, all that stuff, but it's all frequency based because what we want to do is we want to get, we want to tease out that intensity so that you really become uh, a unique version of you. You lean, you lean into what is unique. So the silver level is really focused on the intensity. It's like, okay, you got the frequency down, you master the basics. Now let's reinvent it. Let's make it unique. Figure out how to apply it to you in, in a way that only you can, because that's your unique advantage is that you are the only you in all of creation. And that means you have a unique blend that creates an advantage that if you can figure out what that unique blend is, then nobody can compete. Nobody can you better than you. You cannot be Elon better than Elon. The good news is nobody can be you better than you. And that's really the intensity phase. Now, this applies to how you approach your health goals, uh, how you approach your money, your finance goals. Okay? You're going to have an advantage if you know yourself. Uh, this, uh, your, your large mission, your family, all these, all these things, all the pillars require you to really figure out who you are because you got to create harmony and you can't create that harmony unless you have intensity. You will always be trying to be something you're not. And the gold tier's purpose. Okay, so uh, guardian tier, for example, it's a different conversation. These are uh, guardians by and large are doing things that matter to them. The magnitude doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if being the best grandparent if that's your purpose, that's your purpose. If you want to populate Mars like Elon, that's your purpose. It's a different conversation, though, right? It's just a different conversation because the obstacles and uh, are, are unique and the things that you need to move forward are typically a higher level of conversation, a higher level of proximity and access to people that are playing at a much bigger level because they help open doors and they also help you understand how to take the next steps, uh, steps that most of the, the you know, the top 1% knows how to take the steps that the 99% doesn't. So Guardian is really about getting together, having these high level conversations. We do a lot of in-person events, et cetera, et cetera. That may not be for you. you. You may be able to take all these steps with the free content and more power to you. Okay? So bronze, do the reps. Silver, put your unique stamp on it. Gold, let's close the gap. Let's get you, you have a purpose. Let's get you there. Or let's lay the foundation for it because your purpose may very well exceed your lifespan, you know, and that's perfectly normal amongst high achievers. Now, you can read that, right? It's not all sunshine and rainbows. So the beautiful thing about having a process, frequency, intensity, uh, sorry, frequency, intensity, purpose, the beautiful thing about having a process with emergent properties is that these um, these properties are not something again that you can find and sometimes you lose them okay. so a process allows us to troubleshoot and to troubleshoot a process we just invert it it's very simple so here's what I mean by that instead of frequency intensity purpose when we're having a hard time we say purpose intensity frequency okay. so if your purpose is unclear we know what to do Purpose is unclear, just go back to being you. It'll reemerge. The faster you get back to focusing on intensity, the quicker your purpose will reemerge. Okay? If you're having a hard time getting back to being you because you just got knocked way off course, and that happens all the time. We do not live in a vacuum. Can't get back to being you, you, go, you just go back to doing the reps. 
Go back to frequency. As soon as you start doing the reps, just go back to riding. Go back to taking calls. Go back to riding your bike. Go back to whatever it is that you do. Go back to the basics. Okay? Everybody thinks they're too advanced for basics. They would be way more advanced in reality if they spent more time on the basics. So when you feel like, man, I'm, I'm not really in my game. I'm, I'm not playing my game. You know what Kobe Bryant used to do when he was off his game? He went and shot free, uh, free throws. When you're having a bad game and you're, you're in the playoffs and you're not hitting your shots, you go back to the basics. You just go back to shooting 1,000 shots a day or 10,000 shots a day or whatever. Okay. So we can troubleshoot. Now here's the process. Here's another way to look at it. This is the process, frequency, intensity, purpose. We don't live in a vacuum. So sometimes we're like, frequency, cool. Wow, I really understand my game. I really get it. And then your friends and your family and they... They tell you you're doing it wrong and they don't like the new version of you and they yada, yada, yada. Because that happens when you do, when you make positive changes for yourself, you might get thrown off course. And instead of spinning out, we know what to do. We just go back to frequency. We go back to doing the work. We got, and if you're in the Garden Academy, you got that whole support center and the workshops and all that stuff. If you're not in the Garden Academy, it doesn't change. You just go back to doing the work. All right. So you develop your intensity. You learn these conversations, you learn how to navigate really being a unique individual doing extraordinary things. Purpose emerges. Uh, and for a couple of weeks, maybe your purpose is super clear, but then you get stuck in the weeds and you get knocked off course and COVID hits or, you know, a family member gets furloughed and all, all these crazy things happen and you, and you kind of lose sight of your purpose. That's okay. Just go back to being you. The infrastructure is there. You would just jump right back into the silver infrastructure uh, where everybody understands this conversation and they get you back on track and your purpose will reemerge. Okay, so we can troubleshoot. Hopefully that makes sense. That's our structure. That's our structure. It's unique, it's different, but that's exactly the point, right? Frequency, intensity, purpose. Uh, this is the way that we do it and only we can do it because of the unique perspectives and, and connections and uh, stuff that we have. Uh, and if, if the structure doesn't fit, that's okay. That's okay. All the content is free. Uh, you could take this. You could chew on it. You can disregard it entirely if you want to. Okay, so Guardian Academy, it's just the infrastructure designed to help you discover your own greatness. That's all it is. Not putting anything in you. Uh, might teach you some new things, but those new things are really just methods for teasing out what is already inside of you. And then the tiers are designed to support your purpose and get you back on track as quickly as possible because that's really the game. The game is not to motivate you. If you need motivation... Um, this is not the place and our people are motivated. They're purpose driven. Even if they don't know the purpose yet, they wake up and they want to do something of value for themselves, for their family, maybe for the world. And the trick is really getting on track and then getting back on track when you get knocked off. And that's really the, the guardian Academy uh, support system. All right. Hopefully that all makes sense. That's the Guardian Academy. Live to learn, give to earn, share your six word update. If you're not familiar with the six word update yet, you will be if you continue on to the, the learning and intelligence section.